The XFL has come a long way since its reboot in 2020, but what are the main differences between the XFL and the NFL? Let's check it out. One of the main differences between the XFL and the NFL is the kickoffs. The kickoff team is lined up on the opposing 35 yard line and the return team is lined up five yards apart on the 30 yard line. The reasoning for the XFL to do this is to make special teams a part of the game again and to make it safer. With players five yards apart from each other, they aren't running full speed trying to knock each other's heads off and getting a 40 yard to 30 yard head start, which makes it safer for the ball carrier as well as safer for the entire special teams unit. The ball must clear the 20 yard line into the kickoff target zone in order for it to be fielded. If it doesn't clear the 20 yard line or goes out of bounds, then the ball is automatically placed at the 45 yard line. And since the XFL is trying to promote special teams, if the ball actually lands in the end zone as a touchback, the ball is placed on the 35 yard line and that's known as a major touchback. If the ball lands in the kickoff target zone and rolls into the end zone, that's known as a minor touchback and the ball is going to be placed on the 15 yard line. The XFL also added a one, two and three point try rule. And the difference between the XFL and the NFL is the XFL you have to run a play. So with the one point play, it's going to be from the two yard line. If you run a two point play, it's going to be from the five yard line. And if you run a three point play, which is a new addition, that's going to be a play from the 10 yard line. As opposed to the NFL, which is a one point play, which is a 33 yard field goal and a two point play, which is a play run from the two yard line. The overtime rules in the XFL are a little bit different than the NFL. The overtime rules in the XFL, you're going to be given three chances. So similar to like a hockey game where there's a shootout at the end of the game in the end of regulation where you get three shots to get the goal and whoever gets the most goals gets the chance to win the game. Here is going to be the same situation where now you get three chances from the five yard line and whoever gets the most touchdowns or most conversions in those three attempts is going to win the game. Opposed to the NFL, which you have a 15 minute period or 15 minute quarter and you're given one possession each and whoever scores on the possession will just continue to go for the entire 15 minutes. So if one team scores and the other team doesn't score, then the first team that scored would win. The next difference is the play clock timing. So in the NFL, you get 40 seconds in between each play. And in the XFL, it's only 35 seconds in between each play, which is going to promote more offensive plays, which then in the end is going to encourage more points to be scored. Another rule that's different in the XFL is the double forward pass rule. So in the NFL, if you want to throw a double pass, the first pass has to be behind the first person he throws to. So if he wants to throw a trick play or something along that line, he has to throw it to the receiver that's behind him and then the receiver can throw the ball. In the XFL, it's a little bit different where now, as long as the player is behind the line of scrimmage, you can throw the ball to him and it doesn't have to be behind you when you throw it. All right, it can be as long as he's behind the line of scrimmage, he can throw the ball again to another receiver. And the last difference is the onside kick. So with onside kicks, you can still do them in the XFL. The only thing that's a little bit different is in the fourth quarter, instead of trying to go for the obvious onside kick, you can also request to go for a fourth and 15 yard conversion, which means that we're going to be able to get one play in a fourth and 15 situation to see if you get the possession of the ball. If you end up converting on that 4th and 15, then you're going to be able to get the ball back as if you just recovered an onside kick. If you do not get the 4th and 15, then the kick return team or now the defense would get the ball back in that situation. If you liked that video, be sure to check out our latest video and subscribe to continue to get more weekly football content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.